Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have teamed up with Priceline to get ready for the races. So I'm actually going to the Caulfield Cup with Priceline and I'm so excited about it. And I have filmed this makeup look, get ready with me today. I've also got ready using tan and nail products from Priceline as well. So don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and let's go get ready. Hey guys, I'm just heading into my with Priceline to pick up some goodies for getting ready. So once I've finished my shopping, I'm going to get straight into tanning with the Bonnet Sands Ultra Dark Tanning Mousse. I'm doing two coats and it's best to apply this the day before or the night before your big event. That way it just has time to develop and get nice and dark. Next up, nails. I'm using the Opolic Gel System. So I'm using the base coat first and then curing it with an LED light. Then going in with the color Soy Cap and I like to do about three coats of this just to make sure that the color is nice and strong and it's built up well enough to last the week or two weeks. I love gel polish because it honestly lasts so long and it doesn't chip on me either. After the color is done, then I use the top coat as well and cure that and that's my nails done. To get my feed race ready, I'm using this Skull Velvet Smooth Express Petty. Wow, this is amazing and it made my feet so, so smooth. I really highly recommend this. It's so easy to use as well. Now onto the makeup, I'm going to start with my fresh face and go in with the NYX Photo Loving Primer. Now this green one is meant to help with redness. Next up, I'm using this Models Prefer Illuminator, it's a liquid illuminator, placing it on the high points of my face where I want it to catch the light. And then I'm going to mix it in with my foundation. Now I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation because I know that this one lasts a really long time and it has a bit of SPF in it as well, which is so, so important when you are going to be spending some time outside. So applying that with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Next, going in with some concealer. I love this concealer by Maybelline. And again, just blending it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Then going in with the NYX Dark Circle Eraser. I love this corrector, it's so amazing. And just popping that on my dark circles. Then I'm gonna set all of that with this Rimmel Loose Translucent Powder. Just picking it up with the sponge and baking with it. So leaving it for a little bit to set those concealed areas. Next on to brows, I'm using my Ardell Brow Pomade. And I'm just filling in my brows. I love using a pomade because it lasts really well and keeps your brows in place. Cleaning them up with a little bit of concealer before brushing away all of that powder. Then I'm just going to set my brows with the Brow Artist Plumper in Transparent by L'Oreal. And finishing off the rest of my base with the L'Oreal Tree Match Powder, just setting the areas that I haven't already set. Moving on to eyes, I'm using this Face of Australia Eye Primer. Just taking it on my lids and blending it all the way up into my brow. This will keep my shadow on all day long. Setting it with some loose translucent powder. Now I'm using this bronzer from Rimmel as my crease color. I just love that it's matte and there's a really nice warm tone. Now I'm going in with this color here from the Maybelline Nudes palette. And I'm just taking that on the outer V. You'll see that in light sweeping motions, I'm using my brush to detail the outer V and make it really smoky while bringing it in a bit to the crease. Next, going in with this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. Taking the cream side and placing it on my lid and then blending it out with my finger. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, I'm just going to deepen up and blend that shadow in with my other shadow, my previous shadow that I was using before. Then I'm taking this really pretty light colour and just setting the cream with that just to brighten it up a little bit before going in with the glitter. This is so beautiful and so easy to use. I love these Revlon Eye Art products. They are just amazing. So just taking it in light stroking motions over the eyelids and doing a couple of coats. Now I'm using this New by Nature Seashell Eyeshadow and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Next up, taking that same brown shade and going in my lower lash line. I am taking a pencil brush and just going in on the outer half of my lower lash line. Now tightlining and waterlining with a black waterproof eye pencil. This one's from Models Prefer. And then I'm going to take some of that glitter and I'm actually going to put it in the place that I left blank, just the start of the lower lash line. Next up, some liquid liner. I'm using the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. And I'm just drawing a thin line and then I'm going to wing it out. I really wanted winged liner for this look uh, just to make it go better with the eyelashes as well. And it just adds a little bit of more drama to the look. For mascara, I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions Mascara, my fave one at the moment. And then for bronzing, I'm using the Master Contour by Maybelline and taking the contour shade, but it is quite warm. So I'm just running that around the edges of my faces, jawline, cheekbones, forehead, nose, those kinds of things. And then what I'm going to do is take this palette from Models Prefer, Make Me Blush. And I'm taking the bronzer from this one. And it's a bit more cool toned. So I'm taking that everywhere pretty much where I bronzed. Then I'm going in with the blushes from the palette which are so pretty. And just taking that on the apples of my cheeks. So just above where that contour is. And then I'm going to take the highlight from the same palette. And run that on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, Cupid's bow. And then I'm taking also another highlight the Maybelline master contour highlight as well next up for lashes I'm taking these Ilua exaggerate lashes which are so beautiful I just love them and you don't need to cut them at all they're the perfect shape and size so I went for a bold lip a bright bold lip for the erasers today so going in with a pink lip liner and then over the top this Revlon matte liquid lipstick And that completes the look. So this is how my makeup turned out. It's quite simple, but still like has a nice pop of color. Then this is my outfit. I have my shoes from Beds. The headpiece is from Forever New. Mimco Clutch and the dress that I'm wearing is actually from Valley Girl, but I really, really love it. You can even put a belt with it as well to cinch it in the waist. So that is the end of my Get Ready With Me with Priceline. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!